guys, I'm Heidi from Sky Poodles and Doodles. I wanted to show you how to brush a doodle. This is Radar. I got him a couple years ago and he's my very first doodle I ever got. So he's a big boy. I am an in-home groomer. I'm recent to grooming. So I didn't know how to take care of a doodle coat until a couple months ago when I learned my grooming method. Um, I, he needs groomed, his fur is really long. I, had, I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you how to groom a long doodle. He has the long coat like most people like in doodles, so I kept him longer. I gave him a bath three days ago. So as you can see, it's rained, it's muddy, he goes out and he plays, he's a doodle through and through. So I wanted to show you how to brush him when he's not perfectly groomed. Um, and then I'll kind of post a couple more videos of him bathed and clean, and then also my puppies, my Labradoodle puppies, how to brush them and keep them groomed. Um, groomers don't like doodles a lot of times because the owners don't brush them correctly, and they come in um, really matted with all kinds of tangles. And so I'm going to keep that, I'm going to teach you how to brush him so he can go to the groomers and the groomers love him for the doodle loving they are. Um, so when you groom your doodle, make sure he stands. I know a lot of people on the floor, I have a grooming table, so, um, but on the floor, make sure he stands so that he's used to the standing process of being brushed in the grooming area. Um, Radar's getting used to me grooming him, so I have my grooming table so it's easy. Um, start with his legs and then kind of do yourself a pattern so you know where you've brushed and then where you haven't brushed and then he'll get used to that as well as you're brushing him. So when he stands, I always start with his back right foot and you just keep standing up. This is, a, this is called a universal brush. Radar, stop. This is called a universal brush. It has ridges in it to where it gets down to the skin. It will also scratch their skin if you do it too hard but you have to do it, put enough pressure on it to get into the tangle. Um, this is just a metal comb. You don't use it, you use this to check your work to see if you got all the mats out. So these are the two, these are your two best friends if you're a doodle owner. Um, so we're gonna stand. And then I start with his back leg. So you start with the bottom of his foot and his foot is super dirty. Radar, stand up, stop, stop, calm down. And so you just go, and as I start with his toes, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put my finger here, and I'm going to go down in motion. Doodles really get tangled in their toes, so make sure that you're getting their toes good. And then see how it's, it kind of fluffs out, and then I just come back and go up more again. And so you just do this all the way up the leg. And behind it, um, doodles will, if your doodle is biting at its feet or paws, it's probably because they have tangles between their toes. And they hate that. It pulls on their skin and they don't like it at all. And so that's probably, you know, what's going on. A lot of people think maybe it's an allergy to grass, but most of the time it's just him having tangles. Um, always do the inside, especially on boys, the insides of their legs get the most tangled. When you go to the groomer, the first thing they'll check is their tail and under their legs. And so those are the most important parts that you get whenever you're brushing. Um, and so if you can see under his legs have tangles, so you're just getting it. And you can tell he has a reaction because there's tangles there and it pulls it a little bit but you still gotta get them out or else the groomer will just buzz it down. And I like him a little bit longer. So I wanna do my best to brush him out as good as I can so that when he goes to the groomers, they're not going to call me and say, well, we need to just take him down as short as we can because he's full of mats. Um, so see, as I'm doing my pattern, and when you run your brush, you can kinda of hear it and you can hear if he's getting and feel it, the tangles. Doodles should be brushed. If you can every day, I don't. I do at least the most once a week. I give him a good brushing. Um, and I try to keep him clean too. I groom him probably every couple months. Um, 
so. And then on the inside of the leg. And then see, I, I pull his, I push his hair up and I kind of pull it up as I brush down. And then you can take this comb where I brushed and come down and see it'll come through. If you have a mat, it won't come through. Don't pull your mat with this because it will hurt them and then they'll want to get you off of them. Um, so see how it comes through? He has super tight curls. So you'll get a little bit of pullback, but not too much. So then just go up the leg and brush. And then doodles have that long tail. Um, a couple, last year I wasn't a groomer yet and I took him to the groomer and his tail was all matted up top. And so they buzzed half of his tail off. So I'm still trying to grow that out. Right, Arsena? And so when you do the tail, you have to do the same thing. And he hates his tail being messed with. So you just kind of come down, brush it out, make sure all of the mats are out. And you'll get all that dead hair coming out with it too. But then also up top, make sure even if it's, you know, not very long, brush up and try to do your best to get them. So that's the leg and then you go over all of it. So what I'll do with him in the brushing is I'll go the bottom, this right leg, the right leg, and then I'll do this body. And then I'll go on the other side and do the other back leg and the front leg. And then also his ears. Doodles get a lot of stuff right here behind it, a lot of tangles. So you do the same thing. You brush, make sure that it's out, make sure that you're getting most of the tangles, and then you can take your comb and see how it's going right through without pulling. And that means that he's tangle free all the way down to the skin. And see if I pull up, he's still got some. So I need to get my brush and come up. Stop, radar. And just start getting them out. Now, if you do this every day, he, it won't be as hard. You'll be able to um, brush him easily and then he'll just, he'll be used to it and it will be. Brushing and taking care of your doodle is a huge bonding experience for you guys. It's a huge trust thing and they love it. And so if you can do that with them, have the best dog ever and then also the groomer will love him, then it's a win-win for everybody. So that's him. Um, I'll do, post a video of how, um, when he's clean and groomed freshly, I'll brush him a couple days after the groom and then you'll see how to brush a clean dog. When my puppies get to be about six weeks, I'll do a puppy video of brushing them out and getting them used to the brushing and all of that process. Thank you for watching and visit our Facebook page at Sky Poodles and Doodles. Thank you.